Hello and welcome to day five of the Social Supercharged Equestrian Challenge. That's a mouthful. <laughs> of something, we could pick anything, and I'm going to do my horse box. Welcome. Um, my horse box is not grand on any scheme at all. It is a three and a half ton Renault Master. Uh, it's a conversion. Um, it's not an Oakley, it's no pull outside, there's no living, um, but we camp in it and it's great fun and I personally love it. Dublin travels in the whole thing to herself because she won't share, um, but I think the most important thing when you have small spaces or small transport is being clever with your storage uh, and clever with like little gadgets that you can use to help you not be so cramped. So I'll give you a spin round with the door because this is so simple but it's been brilliant for me. Uh, I keep all my grooming stuff in here but it's bolted onto the door. Um, it's just a stable tidy I think they're called um, but I've got main stuff, hoof stuff, all my polish stuff. Things that stay in the horse box stay here and then obviously it gets more filled um, when we're out and about doing the shows. Um, this is very clever. It was all built by somebody. I don't whoever did the conversion did this um, but it's been a godsend and this space obviously is the tire but I have my water but water bucket with all my bits in there um, and the show bucket and then these bridle hooks work really good for hanging show canes on is I used to work in aviation for a company that recycled aircraft and these I got um, they're aviation food boxes um, so they're turbulent proof they won't open and all that malarkey and they're what your food goes in I believe when you're flying but we use them for storage so this one is tea coffee plates the kettle lives in there um, all our cutlery lives in there and then this Food, drink, juice, baked beans, everything stays in there. And this I tend to keep stocked up because these little porridge pots are fab at like local shows, especially in the winter when it's cold, you can have like a quick hot pole of porridge. Um, and I think that's fab. So that's what goes in there. And then I've set this up purely just to show you I wouldn't travel with this, but this worktop here, um, we set the cookers up. I keep saying we, and that's because um, a lot of the shows and the stairways especially I go to and we all camp together, me and the girls all camp together um, or Brad comes with me or something like that and everyone kind of just uses a little bit of everyone else's stuff just to make it all a bit easier so I've got two of these um, and they sit up here whilst we're parked obviously and camping at the stairway um, and they're great. Then this is my favourite area and it's a bit like Mary Poppins's handbag because everything goes down here um it's where your saddle stays so my saddle will sit on the top one the bottom one i'll use for numbers and things like that uh, and then also it does manage to fit this is a basket of everything it's like the random kitchen drawer uh we've got <laughs> we have got in here let me show you uh flip flops for the showers because you need those um makeup remover, painkillers, antihistamines, it's all in there. And then I do at the moment keep my riding clothes here, my competition clothes, so my jumpers and shirts and everything are here. Um, purely because of where I'm living at the moment, I don't have a lot of storage for clothes. So that's all living in here, which is quite useful because then I don't ever forget anything. And if I get dirty, I've got spare. Blue chip tubs, these are amazing. And I know they've brought out the plastic, the um, bags now to reduce the plastic, but I'm reusing all my tubs to make sure I'm not throwing them away. One is tack cleaning and one is all my plating stuff. And then this is just like random. I think it's got like odd gloves in it. Um, so we'll ignore that. <laughs> this bag, 
is a Derby House bag. I don't throw these away. They're so good. In the winter, uh, I'm keeping my numbers and nice things in there really, just so I can get damp. Um, in the summer, they live on the racks um, and they air out better there as well. So, but at the moment, they're all staying in here. Um, and then when it's warm enough, this bag will get used for something else. Another perk to working in aviation is I was able to steal, steal, beg, borrow, a toilet mirror. Um, because it's not glass, it's safe to use for horses. Um, and it's not for her, it's not for Dublin at all. Uh, she doesn't mind traveling, she doesn't need companionship. That's for me. That's for doing your tie or your makeup in the morning. Uh, that's purely for me. That's a, that's a vanity thing. <laughs> Other storage genius ideas are bungee cords and we've always got um, kitchen roll staying up there which is fab um, but also the dryers you can get these from B&M and I think this one easier to see there we go I think they're like two pound uh, but they are fab when you get off in the summer and your, your head's sweaty uh, you can hang your hat on there or we hang towels on it so that it acts as curtains when we're sleeping because um, when we sleep we were in there on a blow up bed on the lorry floor and quite often Dublin's in a lovely stable with all her designer rugs and knee deep shaving bed and I sleep on the floor. I need to work that one out really don't I, that doesn't really work. <laughs> one thing I nearly forgot, um, I use these hooks for my bridal uh, rather than having them in the under there because that's just so full, I put them here. Uh, and then like a head collar and everything goes there as well um, but these hooks are grey and that's why I've got the pink ones they go in the stable at stairway shows and that's where because you can hang them up high that's where I put all my rugs hoods her head collar because I don't like leaving it outside because it might get nicked um, but that's why that's there um, but they're really 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 handy because you can move them around and you can leave some stuff by the stables because sometimes they've got really far away but this, this is like another cubby hole of greatness. Um, it's a bit broken, I did break the thing, but in here, um, this is where I keep my boots and my competition hat. They do live in here all the time. It just means that when I'm going away, even schooling, I've not got to be lugging so much stuff to and from the tack room. So I've got some tread step boots in there and my Charles Owen hat. I'm gonna get that out and show you in the bag because that's really good. I love this. So all of my stock pins and badges and I've even got a Pony Club badge. That's all on here and the hat's in here. And then look, everything's inside. I'll show you. I have, oh gloves I've got um, an ear bonnet which bling in the show ring blinged up for me love that Dublin's age badge this year I can't believe she's 20 um, but then I've got ones that go on my arm and things like that for concourse dress my tie and everything is in here my hair nets are in here just everything lives in here and I love it and last but not least this is our gazebo it's also pink so it stands out and it matches obviously uh, i just keep it in here because sometimes you go to a day show and there's no shade or it's raining and it's great so that just lives in here um but at the stairway shows we decorate it in fairy lights and it all becomes very homely the back bit so yep this is where dublin travels it's not as clean as i'd like to admit whoops um but this is also where we sleep um, fits up in it. It doesn't look big enough. And when someone offered it to me to buy, I was like, I just need to like put her in to see if it works. But because their head hangs over the front there, there is so much room. And actually, because there's no partition in here, when it's raining or anything like that, I can fully tack up, put four boots on, and everything with her in the horse box. Um, so there's bags of room. It's great. Uh, up here behind me another really clever storage thing i think that's from a car like to stop dogs jumping over it's got her tail boots and everything up there but it's also got my spare tack box um that stays in the horse box because it's no good getting to a show and something breaks and all your spare tacks at home and because the horse box lives on the yard if i'm at the yard and i need spare tack then it's only in the horse box um so it just makes sense for it to live there 
Uh, but I love this little space and it's great. It doesn't leak anymore because we fixed the roof. <laughs> Very old fashioned cab, but many a uh, karaoke has been had in this cab uh, driving miles and miles and miles to stay away shows. I used to live in Hampshire, so most championships are sort of in the Midlands and it's normally, it's not odd for us to have done a four hour drive. I now live in the Midlands and it's great because everything is about an hour away and it's fab. Um, anyway, I digress. The cab. Everyone has one of these little things and it's always full of junk. Mine has got tent pegs, scrapers, a spanner thing. Um, I disconnect my battery when the box is just sat around. Not that anyone would steal the bright purple party bus, but it's another deterrent really and it just stops the battery draining um so that's in my junk copy hole um and yeah. Ooh. my concourse brow band oh sneak peek because it's falling out um i don't know why that's in there but uh that's in there um the sat nav that doesn't work don't know why i've got it duct tape and a lot of pens so that lives in there um, I'm going to put that there because that needs to go away properly. Now, another great storage thing is behind my driver's seat. Because I'm short, I pull my seat all the way forward, which leaves a big gap behind the chair. And we've got a whoop, camping table, and the bag with my show jacket is in there, and a see-through coat, like one you can compete in. That stays there. Uh, and my dressage tests all live down there. And uh, that's pretty much it. She's not fancy by any means but she's pretty fancy to us we love her um she's got all sorts of names party bus fashion wagon uh she's just great and she doesn't always start but war horse box does so i hope you enjoyed my mini tour um do check out ria freeman's social supercharged equestrian challenge um i've been doing it all week so you'll be able to see the post on my instagram and uh, I hope you've enjoyed it and I look forward to watching everybody else's. Bye!